This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to Walson Lords of Mayhem on the Xbox Series X. This snuck under the radar, people. I only knew this launched because I saw Major Nelson post up in Twitter that it launched on the Xbox Series X yesterday. It is also available on the PlayStation 5 and I believe on the PS4 and the Xbox One if you've got last-gen consoles and possibly Nintendo Switch, but you'd have to go check that one out. I'm not sure about the Switch. Uh, however, this is a PC action rpg from yesteryear people it's been around a long time this game and i believe it's one of those games that started on pc and it was a bit clumsy and a lot of bug fixes and all that sort of stuff but over the years they've really invested in it and what we're getting now on console should be a really strong version of the game a uh, it is a diablo-esque type game and i love those action rpgs so the minute i saw it i was like oh yes please having a bit of that so without further ado let's crack the in people as always i'll try not to talk over cutscenes and we will not rush through the character creation and class pickings people we will we will take our time do a little bit of a deep dive see what's what don't know how in depth all of that stuff is but we shall find out uh, there is a create character where right, i switch to online mode uh, so it looks like there must be seasonal type stuff online. I haven't done any investigating on this game, people. So I'm going to stick with the mode that I'm on, which is not online, because I'm going to be playing it by myself anyway. So we'll, for this, for the sake of this recording, we will stick with offline. I'm assuming we're going to call it. Uh, down at the bottom right-hand side, there is a settings cog. But I don't seem to be able to move a stick over there as yet. So it's just got my name and a little sentence thing. So we'll leave that alone for now. Create character. Let's do it. Uh, oh, there is game menu, right enough. There we go. There's settings there. So if you hit the menu button, which is the old start button, then you get a whole bunch of settings in here. A It, it did say on it when I downloaded it that it was 60 FPS in the description whether or not that's something that gets turned on and off or whether it just knows because we're on new gen uh, no idea what that noise is it just keeps doing it in the menu gameplay settings uh, hud scale map overlay opacity map overlay zoom all the things you'd expect in one of these games there's loads of tick boxes in here people uh, camera shakes uh, things to do with summons Auto-equip armor, auto-equip. Yeah, there's all the things you would expect in these sort of loot, dungeon looters people. So you can have a good look through those. We won't go through all of them, but there is an area where you can go and do all the gameplay settings in there. Not seeing anything that's to do with graphics. You can come in and... and oh, you can do custom configuration by the looks of it, which is quite cool. Oh, there's configuration one and configuration two. But that seems to be the only real options. And we've got select your region. Right, okay. So lowest latency, which is America's by default. Uh, I guess, not that I'm going online anyway, but we'll pick out EU London because that's where we are. We're not in the EU anymore, people. <laughs> but they, they've not changed that. Uh, we'll go with EU London as I'm in Blackpool, United Kingdom, people. Uh, start the game in offline mode right okay interesting i wonder if that changes then when you're in it and show ping which i think is just showing you how strong your connectivity signal is and such like so we'll leave that for now so there you go that's what you've got in your settings people and i think we need to accept them down at the bottom there maybe uh, apply is x Interestingly, it doesn't seem to let me take the cursor down to that bottom menu. <laughs> uh, so reset, apply, accept, and cancel. It's letting me do that with the button commands at the bottom, but it doesn't let me hover over those items. There we go. All right, let's do it. Let's get into our character creation. We're going to assume it just knows I want 60 FPS, people. You're creating a new character. That will be exclusive to offline mode and un unusable when online. If you want to play online, switch game mode. Seems reasonable. If I'm ever going to do it with another person, then obviously we'll go online mode. We're going to go offline here. I wonder, of course, if that means that you don't need... Because you don't need with Diablo, you don't need Xbox Live Gold and stuff like that to play. So uh, we're going to go female, I think, like I do. Nice, all right. 
few few settings here. Different face types you can select from. So nothing too in depth. I think we'll stick with the bog standard face wise. Skin colour, fine. <laughs> Left eye and right eye can be different colours, people like David Boet. <laughs> uh, we'll go with. Or we go brown. Because we'll spend a lot of time looking at our eyes, people, without any shadow of a doubt. <laughs> okay, Oak. That's fine then. Hairstyle. So it looks like it's very straight, very straightforward, and not a lot to it in the old uh, character creation itself. I think it doesn't seem like you can spin the character around either to see what's going on there. Nice. Go with a different colour. Mm, bit on the dark side. Yeah, it looks a bit badassery, doesn't it? We'll go with that. Uh, okay, hit next. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So now we get to choose our starting gear. Okay, so... Ah, here we go. Woohoo! Melee. Ranged. I've got to go ranged, man. Look at that fucking bow. I'm having a bit of that action. Mage looks badass as well. I always seem to go... I always seem drawn to the bow, though. Use the pun. Should we do it? So let's look at the descriptions. Dash into the fray and take down foes from the heart of the battle. Uh, of the battle, generate rage by hitting enemies and bringing down a powerful hammer to crush all that stand in your way. Ranged, riddle your foes with arrows as they desperately try to hit you. Build up rage by hitting enemies and unleash a deadly volley of arrows to pack even more firepower. Magic. Bring sheer destruction through your mastery of magic. Rain fireballs on your foes and replenish your willpower by finishing the survivors with your staff. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to. I, I, <laughs> the, the range. The range does look really badass. I was quite quite. It looks quite cool. But I was kind of tempted with mage there. Quite like the idea of bashing things with my staff. Frankly. Um, oh hell, let's just go with Ranger, shall we? Seems to be my thing. Let's do it. A create name, is it? How do I... Character name RB. Here we go. <laughs> that cut the music out in a sudden, didn't it? Uh, so, I'm assuming it's going to let me have an offline name, if that's the case. Let's see if we can have our default. Create... Interestingly, I didn't see anything that sort of let me pick to be any sort of different type of, like, human and elf and dwarf and all that. I didn't see any of that, unless I've completely missed something at the beginning there. It isn't the first time that I've done a, an action RPG like this, and I've totally missed something obvious on the menu that was to allow you to be different uh, types. But we are quite clearly a human type character here. Story Chapter 1, Children of Heimlo uh, Heimlock. Pushed to the brink by an ambush. You manifest a strange supernatural power. Hunted by your former comrades, you investigate an occult conspiracy. Let's do this, people. Uh, play. Uh, what's game mode all about? Should we have a quick look in there? What's that? Ah, here we go. Uh, game mode story. Begin your journey through World of Wilson in Chapter 1 of the story campaign. Ah, right, okay, difficulties at the bottom, right. So, Champion of Stormfall must be something we can't do yet. Yeah, can't do it. So, that must be for after you've completed it, maybe. And difficulty is on normal, which I think's fair. I think we'll keep that. So, there you go. Another set of settings there. 
change character, I guess you can have multiple characters, so that's fine. Let's do this. Studious. If you cannot defeat me, how do you plan to defeat the supernatural forces that feed and prey on mankind? Again! Do you not feel pain? I feel it all right. Just as I feel yours. Pain is a merciful teacher. I had hoped that you three more than anyone would have learned to embrace it by now. Orphans carry the burden of pain with them, always. Finding a new family only alleviates it. Look at you now. That pain has made you strong. Proud soldiers of the Republic, purifiers hunting witchcraft wherever it hides. The children of Hemlock. My children. With all due respect, what are we doing here? The Brotherhood of Dawn attacked one of our keeps two weeks ago and we still haven't moved against them. Our way commands that we retaliate. Sister, our way? Our way commands that we follow the Senate's orders. What if they ask us to stand down? They won't. Arrangements have been made. Arrangements? Grand Inquisitor! At ease. The Senate voted for your retaliation campaign. They're sending the purifiers to march on the Brotherhood of Dawn. Good. Operation Dawnbane now begins. Prepare my legion. I'll lead it myself. Operation Dawnbane, Coast of Rex, Flayers Wildlings Territory. Wow. We need to get through to engage the Brotherhood of Dawn before daybreak. We won't make it in time if we're pinned down. Take my children. Silence the archers. The rest will march on. Grand Inquisitor, purity and sacrifice. Siege Lanner, now! Here we go. Basic movement. Walk around with the left stick. Head north and interact with the ladder to ascend the cliff. Oh, blimey. <laughs> feel a bit slow compared to the old Path of Exile. I'm not overly sure why I've got a sword and a shield at this point in time, as soon as I went ranged, but anyway, let's just keep going. I want those ledges clean! One each, let's go! It's like Helm's Deep, isn't it? Forward! Interact with enemies to attack them. If you're using a controller, an icon will indicate your current target. When wielding a melee weapon, you will automatically dash attack enemies. The dash has a cooldown. Perform an active dodge to evade enemy attacks. Active dodges have a small window of invulnerability and require stamina points. 
which are recovered over time. Seems reasonable. Right, so basically it is attack with X, as far as I can see, dodge with B, and whatever Y is doing. What was Y? Active dodge? Uh, no. Not sure. I'll try it out, eh? Purity in sacrifice! Nice. Ah, oh, right. Y seems to be a, a move of some description, but I've just wasted all my points. Nice. Get them down! Get them all down! Yeah, she dashed towards the enemies there when I was further away. Right, health seems to be bringing itself back up as well, but on its own, which has got a bit of regen, which is nice. A bomber. Who will burn Republican trash? Good riddance. Nice. I like the fact she's voiced through the the battles. Oh, you hear that? What the hell is going on? Manus is stuck on an upper ledge, but we have to move forward. We'll lose a lot of men if the cliff collapses. Right now, I'm more worried about these bloody souls being puked out of the earth. Right, let's keep it together. We move as one and do what we do best. Yeah, Y seems to be a sort of special move, doesn't it, I think? I need to remember about my... I'm trying to see where my stamina bar is when I roll. It says I need stamina, but I'm not seeing any stamina at the moment. Wait! Smell that! Sulfur! A demon. We can't handle it! We need to get back to the purifiers, now! Talk for yourself, mate. I might be able to handle it. I love this light coming through the cracks on the floor as well. Superb. The air's freezing. Soul magic. What the hell happened here? He's one of us. A scout. Hey, soldier, you're right. Where's the rest of your squad? <laughs> you're right, mate. Soldier. <clears throat> Who's alone? alone? He's in shock. Alone. Leave him be. Alone. Alone. Shut up. Alone. Who's alone? alone? alone. Shut up! Alone. We don't have time for this. Let's move. <laughs> Alone! 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 I'm not alone! Well. Well, that went well. You're gonna owe me big time. I praise your resilience. Mortal, you will make a fine host. Val, it's now or never. Now. Oh, my charges are the little green buttons, I think, up at the top there. And be reborn. Or maybe not. Service of the sleeper. Purifiers only serve mankind, demon. Boss encounter. Fucking hell, already? Jesus Christ. I command. Purity and sacrifice. He's too strong. Val, I need you now. Oh. Be at peace. Oh. For soon, oh. you shall be no more. Oh, 
blimey. Jesus Christ. Got no idea what I'm doing. Just hitting every buttons. Oh, hello. You owe me an explanation. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> nice. Good intro, actually. I like that. I'm still confused as to why I'm not a ranged character, but it might just be a thing. Children of Heimlock. Oh yeah, there's all our stuff falling away, so we must start afresh now. I'm not quite dead yet. Away, foul beast. What happened back there? I feel different. How is it that I can use witchcraft now? None of this makes sense. You are low on health. If you run out of health, you will go down. Use your health potion to heal up. Potions refill as you defeat enemies up on the D-pad then. There we go. That's good then. It's the usual... Oh, there we go. There's our bow there. So I've got a straight off... Use skills with secondary attack button. Skills require either willpower or rage to be cast. The types of skills you can cast are based on your equipped weapon. Consult your active skills by opening the skills panel. Yeah, I, do, I think, if I remember rightly, when I, I, I did a little bit of just... In the description of the game when I was buying it, it said that you weren't tied to a class. So if you suddenly decided you wanted to change, you could do. Uh, so you can use all sorts of subclasses and stuff. It doesn't force you in one direction, which is quite cool. I... Consult your active skills by opening the skills panel. Uh, using what? Not that. There we go. Character sheet. All attributes increase by one when you level up. You are also given ten attribute points to assign freely with every level you gain. You can reset your assigned attribute points in your character sheet by spending gold. Shiny gold. A... This is your inventory. Any item that you pick up will end up here. You can move, use, drop if using a controller. Or equip any item present in your inventory. To discard an item when using a mouse, drop it to the ground by moving outside of the panel. Yeah, well, we're not using a mouse. Alright, okay, that's all my armors and stuff. That's health, weapon, I assume that's offhand and main hand, but we're on a two-handed weapon. That's our gloves, left and right maybe, which is quite cool. Oh, shoulders left and right, nice. And ring left and right, by the looks of it as well. Okay, uh, I'm not overly sure, ah, here we go. So LBRB to move along the different menu parts. Skills and modifiers. This is the skills panel. All of the active skills you have learned are here and they can be dragged to any slot of your skill bar. 
You can also activate various modifiers for each active skill, which will change or enhance their behavior depending on the rank. Each modifier has an associated cost, so only a limited amount of them can be active at the same time. Modifiers can be unlocked by increasing the skill level. Yeah, well, I'm going to assume we don't have any points to spend at the minute. Uh, don't seem to be able to... Yeah, we've got two... So using the left trigger and right trigger, we can move through the skills in that left window. So at the moment we've got that one move, which is the multiple arrows by the looks of it. Gate of Fates, bloody hellfire. That's our skill tree. <laughs> uh, you are given one Gate of Fate point each time you level up. Up to a total of 89 and a further two additional points are unlockable through the Champion of Stormfall game mode. Assign your points and confirm them. You can turn the gate of fates using the ring interface, allowing you to mix and match nodes freely. Resetting your assigned gate of fate points will cost you primordial affinity. Well, holy shit, there's a bit of leveling up to do in here, people. Well, we're technically a ranged character at the moment. Projectile damage, there you go. Actually, quite a, quite a nice menu to use. It does seem to lock on the minute you get near the point, which is good. Certainly a lot easier to navigate than the old uh, Path of Exile one, which jumps all over the shop. Oracle of Trinity. That's I'm not sure what the old purple one's all about. Shield regeneration. Could be a mage you on that. Yeah, so you, you have to sort of pass through other things to get to the higher end stuff for... If, well, if you're going to stick to Ranger, that is, I suppose, or Ranged. And you should note that it is called Ranged. I'm sure in one of the trailers I watched, there was a, a sort of weapon gunfire being used. Assassin, there's a Dodge. Uh, the red ones, let's have a quick look at the... What are these big ones here? So that seems to be plus 25 Rage per hit taken. Trigger a burst of health regeneration when you... Yeah, that's all health... Oh, that's Soldier. Yeah, it's got Soldier above it, see? And that's Sentinel. So actually, it's not necessarily ranged, is it? That's external discharge. Yeah, so I don't... Yeah, that's Ranger. As opposed to ranged. But definitely the first green one I clicked on was to do with projectile. Yeah, projectile. There you go. Projectile damage. Force shield. But just because it's green doesn't seem to suggest it's all just about ranged. Like four shield and maximum health are for anyone. Marvellous, right, okay. Well, I think, uh, don't think we've got a point. Yeah, we've got no points left at the minute anyway. Next. Not accessible at this time. Oh. <laughs> well, there's no need to kick me out of the menu. And there's our map, which there might be a quicker way to get to but at the moment that's the only way I can seem to get to it right let's do it people let's crack on with some action it can't be done oh right for some reason I can't use my oh there we go it's because I didn't have any I need to build up the yellow bar don't I marvellous ah okay don't have to keep clicking the button either you can just hold it down the water. but what of Val did she drown Valeria Nice. I'll tell you what, I immediately like the the battle mechanic on it. Kind of enjoying the fact it's a bit slower and it feels a bit more sort of realistic when you're fighting and stuff. Might all speed up, of course, as we get better at things, but... Alright, let's crack on. This away. Is that yellow bar our... Experience, or is that me building something up? I'm not quite sure. Oh, pistol. That's a ranged weapon. Now, uh, loot, pick up, and inventory opening. RT. Right, hang on a minute. Let's just take a second here. Because that's interesting as well. It seems to... Ah, right, if I hold down the button... 
I can do this and go straight to, so if I hold it down, you can go straight to map, inventory, skills modifiers and so on. Let's do that one then. Nice. So, I don't seem to have two weapon sets, certainly, but... Should we try a gun out, just to see? We've only got one gun right enough. Interestingly, I've moved to a gun, but it's still got the same... ...the same special move, because it's a ranged weapon, it's just a ranged move. Nice. I like that. I like that you're not tied to a weapon. Nice. Environmental stuffs. Ooh, I'm already getting a very good vibe about this game, people. Sorcerer Gauntlet. I think we've got auto equip on, so she should just be putting stuff on as we find it at the moment. If anyone from the Republic saw me transform, I better hope not. Yes, we're an outcast now because we're transformed. You can already see me being very addicted to all of this, people. Heavy chest piece. Let's just prove the theory that I am putting this stuff on. Yeah, well, we might have started with one on, to be fair, so it might not put it on for as a standard. Standard issue... Uh... I'm slightly confused as to what I'm on and what I've... So we've got a padded... Yeah, I... I Yeah, we've got... Whatever's in the... Oh, maybe not. I feel like the one that's in the middle is the... One that we've got on. Where does it say equipped? On my screen, it's very... Oh, there we go. It's got equipped up at the top left-hand side there of this of the first box. It's got equipped. Standard issue shirt, and then the other one's a padded hauberk. I'm finding it hard to see what the... Oh, this one's got plus 4% addish, added block chance and allow any weapon to block. So I think... The set, I think this one is the one we should put on. Yeah, there we go. So if we go on that now. Yeah, we've got the other one on now. That's it. Okay. Uh, we do have other items there, though, as it happens. Which is the gloves. Yeah, so it's not putting them on because we started with some sort of basic stuff. That's got 23 force shield, but it is a a mage type thing, I think, that one. What else we got? I think that's about it, isn't it, for what we can put on at the moment. The rest are all weapon stuff. Let's do this. Right, it wants me to travel. Warning, all party members uh, will be teleported to the event area. As you ascend towards the surface, you hear the echoes of a nearby battle. 
Uh, accept. You look awfully real for a nightmare. What was that? She's possessed by a demon? Yes. Let's hope you're wrong. Otherwise... Talking to yourself again? Speak of the devil. Darling, I need a moment. Talk to you later. Sisters with a hair, do eh? Whoa! Easy now! <laughs> Val, snap out of it! <laughs> it's me, damn it! Oh shit! Did you knock your head? Who do you expect me to be, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Some bloody demon. What? No, look! I have no idea what's going on. I was having my ass kicked when something awakened from within to save me. I need help, all right? But I'm not some demon, goddammit. Come on, Val. Oh, really? Prove it. You're such a tool. That does not seem like something a demon would say. All right. Point taken. <laughs> so, what now? You're a tool. Frankly, I don't know. We should regroup with Operation Dawnbane, shouldn't we? In your state? Flinging magic and turning into a monstrosity. No, 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 no. They'll burn you alive. Hemlock wouldn't. Perhaps. But Malis sure as hell will, and with a smile on her face. Ugh, look, let's get out of here first, then we'll figure something out. Just make a note of where we are and what we're doing. Here we go. Hey, we've got a partner now. I haven't seen any sort of looty chest boxes or anything yet. It all seems to be enemies dropping stuff at the moment. That's interesting. The right stick seems to do the role as well. If you don't want to use B. I need oh, a breather. no stamina. Yeah, it is those little green dots above the gr above the red bar. There's little green dots. That's your stamina moves, basically. So rather than being a bar, it's a, you've got an amount of stamina moves you can do. At the moment, it's four max stat. Got another gauntlet there. Hey, isn't that the one we've already got on the... Yeah, we've got the same gauntlet on each side now. It did look like we've got another chest piece there as well, as it happens. Ooh, plus 7% movement speed. Wouldn't mind a bit of that action. Quilted armor. All resistance is... All resistance score. Seven, seven all resistance score. 35 health, 35 force field. So... Yeah, you're kind of sacrificing armor for a force field, effectively, I think, for the, the one that's quick. I don't think it really matters at this point. Should we try that on just to see what it's like for the sake of it? It's got 10 health on it. Oh, that one there has got the Barbarian Defender. It's got 35 health, 5 all resistance score, plus 6% health regeneration rate. Yeah, that's quite sweet as well, isn't it? I'm going to try the thin one just to see what the speed difference is like in moving about. Yeah, it does have a little bit of an impact, doesn't it? Hey, where's our... Um, <clears throat> I don't recall having levelled up as yet, but... Uh, 
try to see oh the experience bar is right at the bottom it's the very last thing it's a sort of I don't know what color that is sort of a very sort of pinkish beigey bar that's moving up as we kill stuffs a winged spear they do come in every shape don't they mutations oh I've just got frozen there you see that sweet Sam right. Yeah, I think maybe I should stop moving all the time when I'm in a fight. Reeks of death. These people are getting torn apart. I don't get it. Svreya aren't normally this bold, not without good reason. That soul demon first, now this. There's something wrong around here. Something very wrong. We shouldn't be too far from the city state of Stormfall. That should at least be a safe place. Well, here's some boxes to shoot up. Possible you might get some pickups in these. Witchcraft is forbidden in Stormfall. Anyone caught joining nefarious cults will hang. Ooh, look at the bodies dangling from the tree there, look. Swaying. Stormfall guard. Can't speak to him. Or her. It's hard to tell through the armor. We must pull back! We're too exposed! If we do, the civilians will get slaughtered. Better them than us! Huh? Brilliant. Let us in! We beg you! Mercy! Murderers! Back away! Back away! Check there's nothing else about. Hey. Ah, here we go. I know that face. You've got a plan. All right, let's hear it. You need answers, and I don't think Malus will get you anything more than a rope around your neck. So, here's my plan. You wait for me in Stormfall. Easy enough, yes? Meanwhile, I meet up with our forces and I try to talk to Edric about the situation to see how we can convince our people that you're not a bloody demon. Agreed. I would rather appreciate not being executed. So, where do we meet? On the way here, I heard talk of an inn in Stormfall, the Laughing Seagull. I'll meet you there. Keep a low profile till then. <laughs> the Laughing Seagull. Why don't you let people in? For the hundredth time, this city is already filled to capacity with refugees. We are not letting anyone in. Look, I really need to have access. Let me through. That's not how things work, friend. Only conscripts are allowed through. Order of the Merchant Prince Damascus himself. So you want fighters? I will fight. Now stand aside. <laughs> you are serious, my friend. Well, all right then. Go through to the farmlands on the other side of the city. Anyone else want to fight for Stormfall? No. That's what I thought. Ah, here we go. By killing the monsters of Walson, you have grown in power and gained a level. Although I don't know how. My bar at the bottom hasn't gone up, but anyway. Use the character... 
character sheet button to open your character sheet and assign points to four different attributes. Each attribute affects different aspects of your character. Use the gate of fates button to open the gates of fates and assign gate of fates points. Uh, okay, so it's the one on the left hand side. Ah, there we go. It's because it, the bar was about to leap up. That's what it was. Interestingly, the picture that it showed me as a, a as a an example did it wasn't in this order. <laughs> that that was over here. Aspects of apocalypse, skills and modifiers. A. Is it not skills I'm doing? Did I read that wrong? Well, this is Gates of Fates, which are going to be all your passive stuffs. So I think we definitely want to take projectile damage. Uh, invest remove points with X. We've got one point remaining. Okay. So that's the gates. The gates of fates is our passive. That needs to be locked in. Closing gates of fates. You have invested points pending confirmation. Would you like to confirm them? Yes, I would. Gates of fates. Aspects of apocalypse. Not ready for that yet. I feel like I've only got one point to spend. I said I had four. Uh, I think I'm missing a trick here, people. I only got one point, but in the tutorial it said I had four points to spend. And I thought it was in skills and modifiers. Ah, here we go. Here we go. So you do, at the bottom you need to click on... No, no, you don't. That's just assigning it. Pin cushion. Yeah, it does seem to be. Yeah, so here we go. We've got... It costs a point for the top one, two for the second one, third one, a point for the bottom one. Uh, I think that's how it's working anyway. <laughs> I'm not overly sure if these are all for my character though. There's another thing. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, I think that's swordy ones, that's ranged ones, that's magic ones maybe, and that's sort of daggery ones, something like that. Yeah, so if I hit select there. Yeah, here we go. Phantom volley, that's it. So you pick the you pick the, the types of move at the top right there. You pick the you pick the type of moves you want. In our case it's ranged. So we've gone for that one there, that one. We hit A, and then it brings us into a, a bunch of stuff that we can buy for the And I've got uh, where does it tell me how many points I've got, people? I can't see it for looking at it, probably. I'm sure it said I had four points, but I can't see where that is. <laughs> what is happening, people? I don't know if you need to do them in any kind of order, whether you can just put, pick them as well from... See up there it says zero of zero. Explosive barrage looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? Ah, here we go. 
press the button you want to assign to the selected skill. A. All right, this seems to be LB and then another button. So you, there is actually more than it. Oh, I see. So all of your other moves are LB and a move rather than just X and Y, which is what we're using at the moment. I've got you. Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't do anything. That just took me out. Unless I don't have enough points, of course. Press the button you want to assign to the skill. Right, I think we might come back to this. I can't, uh, I can't figure out for the life of me what I'm meant to be doing. But I also can't see where I've got any points to spend anyway. I can't see where it says number of points to spend. At the moment it just says zero slash zero up the top here. Alright, let's just keep going. Yeah, see I've, still, I've got a button flash in there that seems to suggest that I've got points to spend, look right above my health bar and everything so I've definitely got points to spend I just can't see where the frack they are ah here we go hang on a minute hang on a minute on the left hand side there I've got two two seven two yeah that's it so maybe I'm actually it's not the I'm not trying to buy things at this point I'm trying to do the ferocity agility wisdom toughness on the left hand side um, ah here we go that's it there I think I, maybe, maybe not. No, that's health, Steve. How do I get over to this left-hand side, people? Oh, switch panel. Here we go. Jesus Christ. There we go. You have to hit the back, well, what's called the back button back in the day. You hit the back button to move over to this left-hand side. Jesus Christ. Right. There's skills. Defense. Utility. Okie doke. So ferocity is going to be all the health stuff, surely. Oh, no, it's not actually. Attack critical chance. Spell critical chance. Ferocity. The green one is agility. Attack speed. Spell casting speed. And agility bonus damage. Wisdom is attack, uh, attack ailment, spell ailment chance, wisdom bonus damage. And toughness is your health and everything down at the bottom. Health, force shield, toughness, bonus damage. So, which one are we going for? I'm assuming I, I'm not spending any points in these other ones that I can see anyway. That's just telling you what your stats are by the looks of it. So... I'm not sure what my damage is. Is that agility? Wisdom bonus damage. I don't know what that means. Agility bonus damage. I mean, I feel like I'm a green character, therefore I should invest there. Where's it telling me how many points I've got as well? Ah, I've got 10 attribute points. Did it say that at the beginning of the game? Yeah, I've got 10 to spend. Bloody hellfire. So I think I'm going to go... Well, funnily enough, I've actually got more points in Wisdom than I have anything else, which is Attack, Ailment Chance, Spell Ailment Chance, and Wisdom Bonus Damage. Um... So let's get the agility one up, maybe. So that's spellcasting speed. I mean, I'm assuming by spellcasting it just means move, it means any move, really. I suspect. Attack critical chance, spell critical chance, ferocity 
ferocity bonus damage. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing myself a disservice by trying to spread myself over all three of these or if I just stick to one. Let's just do it. Let's just invest them in all three for now. I'll keep the agility one slightly higher and then I'll maybe do a little bit of a Google on it for the next part just to see if it's worth spreading the stuff. But for my liking, I feel like because I've gone ranged, I should really be doing the green one. But we'll take a bit of everything for now. It costs 500 gold to reset all the points, which is fair enough, I suppose. Well, let's have a look around the city then. Get to Mahabi's shop. He will have you geared up, courtesy of Stormfall. Ah, so he's mentioning shops. Today, I am not a hero, you hear? It's either that or we throw you back outside the walls. No, please, don't send me back there. It's a bloody slaughter. You haven't seen it. You don't know. Sure, die a hero or die a coward. Make up your mind. We need warriors against us, Freer, not whiners. But the dead, the dead rose back with the earthquake. We've all seen it. The Sphereer and the problem. Why won't you believe us? You are so shameless in your eyes. Disgusting. Could do with a second gun, actually. I'm just, I keep forgetting I'm running around with one weapon. I could have two. Or we'll go back to the boat. I'll have to fight for Stormfall if I'm to stay within the city walls. Wow. It's a really good looking game, to be fair. I mean, I, uh, considering that this game is, uh, it's been around for a fair while, I'm very impressed with how it looks visually. And how it plays, to be fair. There's Mojave. Different shops. Zanifer Stark. Has a function unto itself. Jeweler. Jeweler and unsocketing. Xanifer Stark, the jeweler, sells gems and will offer to remove any gems currently socketed in items for gold. You can also ask her to re-roll re the sockets of the an item for gold. Okay. A. Oh, I've not got any items. I haven't got any uh, gems, have I? So. No good for now. Come back to that one later. Demetra or Demetra, archivist. Archivist. This is Demetra's shop, also known as the archivist. She can take primordial affinity you have harvested from in from. Interacts to increase the level of active skills you have learned. She can also sell you emeracts for gold. Yes, I'll get back to my studies. Wake me up when you're ready. Okay, so original skill, duplicate skill one, duplicate skill two. Uh, there's a red two on the one I've got on. on this one. Champion of Stormfall project uh, required to duplicate skills. All right, okay. So I don't have what I need as yet. 
Peace at last. More happy. Oh, hello. Got a, oh, we're getting a wee present. Well, it's got to be the bow, hasn't it? It's a blue as well. Nice. It's got toxic on it as well. It is like, I don't know if there's a setting to increase the size of the text and stuff on the screen, but it is really small. <laughs> I mean, I'm on a 50, 55 inch telly and it's still quite hard to see all those specs. But it's got five rage conservative time, conservation time, 25 plus 25% attack and spell casting speed multiplier, plus 25% all damage on attacks and spells with this weapon. It's pretty sweet. Nice! Could probably sell him a few of these things we've got here as well, to be fair. I don't know if breaking weapons is a thing. I guess we'll find out. Hi, customer. Welcome to my humble stand. And he also sells... I don't know how much gold we've got. So tell us anywhere. It does. I've got eight gold. <laughs> <laughs> Down at the bottom there, so we're not going to be buying anything uh, at the moment. Don't forget about me, adventurer. Yes. <laughs> That's quite cool. Actually, shut them when you go forward. Well, there's our marker, yellow symbol. Let's just have a little wander about before we do that. Ooh, it's a big chest. Oh, personal chest. Uh, the Bane of the Storm is the quest we've moved into now. There you go. You can just pop stuff in it, the looks of it. I don't think there's anything we necessarily want to keep, is there really? But we'll just, uh... Yeah, send, uh, just hit A and then it send it to chest and then it'll pop it in there for you. That's it. Use the back button to... Uh... Yeah, just put it back over. And there you go. Although, I suppose we hadn't quite decided if we were keeping that uh, chest piece on, which was giving us a bit of extra speed. We did have ones with better protection on them, to be fair. It's not going to be long before we've got much better stuff anyway. Tell you what, we'll stick that in our chest for now. But this has also made me think that we didn't try and sell anything. Let's see if he can buy stuff. How may I help you? Not seeing. Ah, wait a minute. If we go over to our panel, that's it. And then we should be able to sell, I think, from here. You know, that's the one. Hobby is always the best value. Only getting a couple of gold for each thing, to be fair. Yeah, for some reason you have to actually select the area of stuff you want to sell. You can't just go on to anything. Um, and he doesn't buy armor for some reason. Oh, he buys armor, but he won't buy the the gloves and stuff. Also, we need to be careful here, because that's... That's the one we've got on, I think. Plus 5% movement speed. Oh, it's not. It's a different one. Your patronage is appreciated. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. I can't seem to sell the... Oh, I can. I'm just on the wrong thing. That's what it was. Well, it's taken up our uh, coin up to 26. Tell your friends, Mojave stand in the palace district. Well, Demetra is the one that we've now to go and see, I think. Can't be, can it? Seems to be. I, I thought I spoke to Demetra already. No, oh, maybe not. Enaracts and skills. You're about to receive an Enaract, an ancient magical device. Use the Enaract to uh, in your inventory to learn new skill. Increase the level. Increasing the level of a skill unlocks skill modifiers that you can activate from the skills and modifiers menu. Skills can level up while being used in combat. Right, here we go. And. Ooh. Oh crikey, I can barely read that. Leap with a spear. Cast a nova that applies an element and deal damage around you. Rush to the opposite. Rush to the opposite of the targeted direction and launch a projectile that slows enemies. Well, it's a projectile one. And summon a melee plagueling, I think that says. Use the skill for summoning a plagueling to initiate a teleported attack. Yeah, sorry, it's not that I can't read it. Uh, sorry, well, it is that I can't read it. It's just tiny writing. <laughs> you can probably see that yourselves, especially if you're watching it on a bloody mobile device. And I'm on a 55-inch TV and I can't bloody see it. Uh, skill tag, spell summon. Skill tags, attack, projectile, rogue, movement. I think that's the one we need to go for. Spell, attack, warrior, movement. Yeah, I think we definitely want that one there. Lovely. Well, that's skills and modifiers, right? So we need to put a... How do we put a skill on then now? Or is it a modifier that we've got, not a skill? I can't remember what it said now. I am confused. How am I meant to use my interact? I've got no idea. And every time I hit that bloody third one, it stops me going into... It just boots me out of the menu. Well, there's my modifier there. In that menu on the right-hand side. Use. Can't wait to try it out. Right, okay. So I have to use that thing first. There we go. So when you get given it, you have to use it, and then you have to come in here and assign it, I suspect. So let's put it on LB and Y. Interestingly, it seems to be suggesting that that, uh, that move I had was an LB and X, but I thought it was just on Y. Let's move them around. Yeah, I'm not sure about the uh, modifiers yet. Yeah, see, it's actually moved my Y move over to LB and X for some reason. I don't know why. 
Anyway, we've done it. We've got another move, people. So we've got LB and Y and LB and X at the moment. Most likely, I'll probably move something over to Y, though, because it's a super handy button. RB is also locked at the minute, so that will get unlocked at some point. Well, there you are, folks. I think we will... Oh, hello. That looks like a teleport point, doesn't it? So that looks like we can travel to anywhere that we've discovered by the looks of it, people. Superb. And the way to go is that way. And we'll be doing that in the next part. Well, there you go, folks. I hope that has shown this game off suitably to those who might be curious about it and wonder what it's all about. Uh, I hope it's brought it to the attention of people that had no idea it had just launched. I mean, I'm so honestly buzzing to play lots more of this. I really thoroughly enjoyed that opening action sequence people it looks really really good considering its age and also loving the cutscenes and stuff i was at the beginning i thought oh it's just going to be pictures with voices but then it all went into sort of loads of in-game action and stuff and a few cutscenes, which is quite cool so i'm very very impressed with it so far people i'm gonna I'm going to record a part two immediately after I sign off from this. So there you go. I hope that's help, have been of help to some of you out there. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Walson, Lords of Mayhem on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.